Hello everyone, Miss Artgarden here, and today we're going to do a Let's Paint of Connor from Detroit Become Human. And it's a video game, and he's an android, and the actor who plays him is, oh I looked it up, Brian Dutchhart? Dutchert? Something like that? <laughs> so basically we'll be drawing him in this, as his character in the video game. <laughs> so let's get started, and we'll sketch him out. I was thinking about doing him from a front face. Um, I mean facing front and maybe like looking down a little bit so we'll just go ahead and draw some guidelines that kind of go in with that. Just kind of sketch in the general shape of the face to begin with. Okay so there we go we got some simple guidelines. I'm gonna make my brush a little bit bigger and maybe darker here so we can see my future lines a little bit better. So now I will detail in his face and I always start with the eyes and I don't know how far down to make them so I think I'll just generally put them in here and uh, yeah they'll be looking down so I'm just gonna kind of shape them in this way and put them a little bit squinty looking because you know there'll be some foreshortening this this is basically the line yeah eyelid will be kind of over the eye from what you can see so we'll just give them it'll look a little bit strange maybe in the sketching phases but just as we're working out the placement and how how we want it to look we'll just put it in like that as a placeholder if nothing else and then we will put in the general shape of his nose and his nose will be kind of like this but uh, we want to detail it in so we'll make sure to uh, mark it in for now like this and you know it'll go out you'll see a little bit of the nostrils underneath the bulge of the nose here and then eventually yeah we'll detail this in a little bit more but for now we're just working on placement on the character's features put the mouth in and the upper lip will be over the bottom lip a little bit more if we're gonna go with this down view for now I'm just going to place it in and then I can work more on uh, being a little bit more true to the actual shapes of his features. We're gonna put this in a little bit more specific now. So you know his head is a uh, android <laughs> structure. Out here there'd be a little bit of a skull. The opposite of an indent? Concave. Convex. A little, little bit of an area that bulges out there. And then his cheek would go down like this. And his chin, I think his mouth would be uh, just about lining up right under the jaw where the bend is. So we'll have it like that. I am going to literally copy <laughs> and paste that. So I don't have to redraw it. This is my little tricks and cheats from the computer. And I am gonna just move this down a little bit because I think that I've shortened the jaw a little bit too much. So he's got you know, bone structure, <laughs> I guess is the word I'm looking for. So we'll put that in there. Mark in where his hair is gonna be and he's got widow's peak kind of thing. His hair is mostly styled back. So I'm just gonna try to mark in the shape very loosely here. Everything in the beginning stages, it's all about kind of, uh, you know, you can't just automatically think of it and put it down exactly as you think. You have to kind of work out the puzzle of how it'll be laid out and all that stuff. So that is what we are doing here. His ears, since the angle of the head is down like this, they're actually going to start a little bit higher. They usually start about the top of the eye and go down the bottom of the nose. But like I said, we're looking down so his ears will be much more higher up in appearance. So I will draw that one there and I will draw the matching one over here. I have made his neck way too skinny. Just the guide of it. Uh, so we'll want it coming out around the jaw. This is these little bumps. I don't know if you can quite make them out. I can see them, but it might just be my imagination. Uh, that's where the, the neck area would come out. He'll have a little bit of shoulder here and then the rest of it will go down. So we'll move these shoulders down a little bit too. Okay and then I'm just going to draw in a line just to represent where the nose would be. The little indents of the area would be here and he would have some eyebrows about here. I actually drew in the eyebrows. Always a miracle when I remember them. <laughs> I always remember them. I just forget them at first and you know his eyes would be a little bit like looking down like this so you won't see much of them. Barely in there. Just looking down and then he has a LED light right here that I guess it's like his little android mood ring. <laughs> It flashes certain colors when he's upset or whatnot. And then let's draw in some of his clothes. And he has uh, like a shirt collar. So we'll bring it in. He's kind of a buttoned up styled character. So we'll uh, draw in his collar there. We'll draw in his collar almost connecting. And then it'll go out. We just are barely going to see any of this. And then right here is a tie. And then we'll draw this down like so. And the other one too. Messily putting it in until we're happy with the general look. And then we'll paint it in. I want a little bit more of his clothes. So I'm going to move this up because I need an adjustment 
where the head goes down. So if I just move this up, it's the same kind of thing. Just to mark his, the tilt of the head even more by foreshortening that neck. Then we might just see the very tip of his tie. <laughs> I just wanted a little bit more clothes and I could make the thing smaller. I could move him up a little bit even just to have some of the clothes in there. They're kind of interesting, futuristic Android clothes. <laughs> it might be fun to draw a little bit of them first. So make this one final adjustment to bring this down and then we will put in the block colors of the painting. Before we do that, I'm gonna choose a background color. I think it's better if you paint on a medium gray or some kind of color like that because of when you're done then it looks a little bit better than if you had painted on white and then you add a background, it kind of changes the colors a little bit. And then I'm gonna make a new layer for my base color. <laughs> and I'm going to set my brush to 100% opacity and almost 100 hardness and pick a color for his skin or his synthetic skin, I suppose. But let's see, how do we like that? That's good enough for the base. We'll just apply this everywhere there is skin. And then we're gonna pick a color for his shirt and his hair. Let's start with the shirt. It's gonna be white, but I don't wanna pick an actual white because then you don't have anywhere to go. I'm gonna put something in that I forgot to sketch in before I forget. And it's the blue purple color on his jacket. It's like a little bit of a trim thing. I'm just gonna sketch it in here since I forgot it. Okay, and then the rest will be grayish, uh, dark grayish color. So we'll just pop that in right over this. And we'll fill this in where this was supposed to be white and I didn't quite get it. If we go over the lines, we can just pick up the color. We're on 100% now, so it's no big deal. Okay, and then lastly, we'll do hair color. And he's got kind of dark brown, almost black hair. And then I'm not going to mark in his LED because that will likely be on a separate layer. So that's pretty good for the base colors. Now I'm going to duplicate my base color and create a clipping mask so that I can paint without worrying about it going off of what I've already put down. If you're following along and <laughs> you have Photoshop, you can right click on here and go to duplicate layer. And then you can right click on that duplicate layer and say uh, create clipping mask. And the shortcut keys for that are command J and then option click on this. Oops, like that. <laughs> And I'll be doing that a lot in the future, but I just want to go through it quickly here so that you would have it for reference. So now I'm going to start putting in the shadows and the highlights and stuff. So I'm going to turn my hardness down a lot and I'm going to turn my opacity down a lot and I'm going to start picking up this color <laughs> and come up with a nice shadow. I'm going to go kind of saturated. He's got a little bit of a pink skin tone. I think that's good. I'm just going to make it a little bit darker and a little bit redder and we'll call that good for the, uh, the shadow tone. So now we're just going to start Start putting in shadows. His face, his whole face, more or less, will be in shadows from this angle because he's looking down, you know, so his brow causes this shadow effect here. I think we're gonna do the light source from here, so it'll be doubly so in shadows here. I am the kind of person who just puts down a mess of color here and then blends it in. I just realized I never drew any lips for it. <laughs> but that's okay, we'll just paint them in. Uh, we don't need the sketch planned out for that part. So we'll just put in some shadows here. You know, he'll have a nice dark one under the lip and he'll have some dark ones under the nose that we'll want to kind of mark in. He'll have one on the cheeks. His cheeks will be like sunken in, but not like in an unhealthy way, just sort of like a sculpted way. And then we'll have a little shadow here and then we'll have a big shadow here, but later we'll do the LED and that'll kind of light up that area. In fact, I think maybe we'll have a little bit of, of highlight over here to start with. Then we'll have one that goes down here. So we'll have shadow here, maybe a little bit of highlight here where the light catches his face structures. Then we'll have a bunch of shadow under here where his chin is just blocking most of the light from the neck. Except for this little area here, we're gonna leave a little bit of light showing on this side. Might as well do some on the hair and the clothes while we're at it. By the way, the hair will eventually be kind of doing that. There'll be like a few little strands that come down like that, but we're gonna do that on a separate layer. And I'm gonna actually move before we go any further, I'm, I'm gonna blow this up a little bit more just so we can get a nice big close-up of the face. It was starting to look a little funny, the proportion of the hair that was showing on the drawing. <laughs> it was making it look a little bit um, Count Dracula, I guess. <laughs> we don't want that. Let's go ahead and pick out a highlight. We'll make a gray blue. So this is really just blocking in where we want our shadows. In a way, it's like sort of like sketching, but in paint sketching. <laughs> okay, and then next we'll do the clothes.
So that's looking pretty well blocked out. We can look at it without the sketch. You can start to see uh, the shape of a face taking shape. The, the, yep, that's exactly what I meant to say. But you get the idea. There's a face taking shape in the drawing. So now we just have to be careful going forward that we get the right details to make it look like Connor's face. And I still think the chin is a little bit, I have a hard time drawing guys' chins. I always short them. So I'm going to edit this. We can go in later and uh, touch it up. I mean, I can just change the sketch too if I'm worried, move it down so I won't lose my place, but that's not really that necessary. What I'm gonna do now is put the sketch down in opacity so I'll be able to see my painting a little bit better. I'm gonna merge that layer and create another clipping mask and we're gonna start pushing the shadows and the highlights more. And I think actually this is all starting to look a little bit lighter than I want. So I'm gonna take it at this stage, make it darker. I'm gonna go to levels, which is command L and I'm going to make it a darker color. I'm gonna go to a red and mess around and then blue and then until I get more of a color I want. So <laughs> that's a little bit different I know but I just wanted to get that in before I continue. So now we're gonna go and push the shadows and the highlights a little bit more. So I'm gonna go in with the shadows and start marking them in. Okay, and you can see I'm really pushing for the most or the darkest part of the shadows to be around the eyes and the nose and the mouth. I mean, <laughs> basically the features of the face and the darkest shadows tend to be under the nose, but um, they'll be pretty dark here the way we have him positioned. I have done this one. It's kind of a dark brown and it's not very saturated. So I'm gonna go and pick a little bit different color for my next round of shadows. If you're looking for super realism, you're probably gonna want to really think about which colors you want before you put any down, just so you don't, end up with, <laughs> with ones you don't like. I've done a lot of shadow work. Let's go ahead and put in some highlights. I'm gonna make them a little bit yellowish. They'll stick out a little bit better. So we have, you know, all the shadows on this face. So the highlights more or less are gonna be really kind of pumped up on this side of the face. This side of the nose will get some. It'll be like a point where this bridge of the nose is sunken in and the eye is down here and there'll be like a little highlight and it's that little point where it comes out. <laughs> I am so bad at articulating, but hopefully <laughs> you'll kind of know what I mean. Uh, we're gonna make some some lights on the side of his face show. They would come in a little bit like that and then go up to his temple. We'll have like a little area here and we'll have it push for some highlights there. And then down at the chin might be catching a few highlights down here and definitely over at the side of the neck here. We'll put a few highlights in, a few highlights there, and then we'll just have like one over here. And then we'll put the line of highlight over here that I want to catch. His bone structure will be kind of like that. <laughs> so we want to put like a triangular shape just to kind of show that off. And then you can kind of work the shadow color back in if you've gone over over it too much like I just did. I'm gonna have to get rid of the, the sketch to be able to really mark that chin jaw line out because I I think I've made it a little bit off from honoring the way his features are. We'll, we'll just take it away here and we'll just mark in. I don't want these to look super square because uh, you know he has a softer jaw line so maybe I'll bring this in just a little bit so he doesn't have quite that jawline. I'll have to go in and smooth out all of this. It's looking a little rough right now, but <laughs> for now, it's good. Before I continue anymore, I want to really nail in the features of the face so I can kind of get rid of the sketch. So let's mark in the ears while we're over here and he'll have a shell of the ear here and then he'll have this area in here where there's a shadow from the um, ear canal and then we'll have just like maybe like a little shadow here. So there's a shadow between the side of his face and the ear <laughs> and we're just messily putting these in to make sure we have them marked in so we can get rid of the sketch and then later we can refine them. And then this one is about the same. And I think the eyes in the sketch are a little too high up. I'm actually gonna move them down just a touch before I mark them in. Move them down just to kind of help me. And then I'm going to take a dark color and just lay in sort of an outline for the eye area. We're gonna have this kind of down here. It's gonna be kind of a tricky eye to draw. It'll be like coming out here and then up. And we'll do the same over here. One eye is squinted more than the other. So we'll have to work on that, but that's okay for marking it in. And then we'll want to do the bottom of the nose. So I want to put in these nostrils a little bit, just mark in where they would go here and here. You know, and you can imagine the, the bulbous part of the nose goes there. And I just want to mark in that shadowy area. <laughs> the nostrils are not even ground here, but we'll just paint over it and pretend that never happened. <laughs> and then 
the lips have a real dark shadow under the nose here and they'll have a little uh, dip in the lip there and then the rest of the lips will start down here we'll just put kind of a line for the center of the mouth in and he'll have the corner of the mouth flare there we have these shadows here we've been doing a good job marking those in and then his lips will be down here I'm not gonna paint them in yet I'm just gonna kind of mark in where they'll go let's take a look without the sketch okay I think it's looking good I think I've given him too square of a jaw so before we go any further I'm going to refine find that. Okay, and then we'll just have to kind of work on the subtle shadows and highlights and be careful on working in the features. Earlier, I moved this down and now I've changed my mind. And so <laughs> I think I'm gonna move it up just a little bit. I really wanna nail this shape before I put in all the refined details. Oops, I'm going to do a, a clipping mask. I'm going to select what I want to move up and I'm gonna feather and I'm just gonna literally move it up a little tiny bit. It kind of makes a big difference <laughs> on the jaw how long and wide it is. And if we're still worried, we can go to liquify, filter, liquify. Actually, I want to do this on just the regular layer, no clipping mask, so I don't have any barriers to work with. And I'm going to make sure I shape it in now. I'm going to just kind of keep going. Maybe his um, mouth and nose can come down a little bit more. And the eyes, they're a little too far up. There we go. All refined. It looks way different now, doesn't it? <laughs> That's okay. We're, we're going for, we're going for it. So I'm going to make one quick change to the nose and then we'll go back to adding shadows and highlights. Okay. And let's check it now before we go on. I think it's a little bit off. I think it's this jaw and I'm actually going to work on fixing that just by painting the area. And that's a little bit, I think more even for the highlights and, and the shadows. I think it looks pretty recognizable as a face. Now we just need to make it look like his face. I'm going to get a little saturation out because I think right now it's looking a little too bright. And then I'm going to make a hair layer. I think it's good to work on the hair because then you know where it's going to be placed. You'll have to add some shadows in there too. So we have our new hair layer. I'm going to turn my hardness up a little bit and my opacity up a little bit. And I'm just going to mark in some strands. And then, like I said earlier, he's got some strands here. I might just kind of mark them. The whole thing will go like this. Like he's got a, a bit of hair that's coming out, coming loose. Even androids have bad hair days. <laughs> Except I think it's supposed to be on purpose with him. It looks normal. It looks good. And then we'll add eyebrows so he doesn't look like no eyebrow man. I'm going to turn my hardness way down now and work on putting in some better strands and some better highlights. So now let's just keep on going. And I'm going to work on the nose first. I don't think it looks too much like him yet. We're getting there. Let's move in some more shadows here. More shadows underneath. Push that three-dimensionalness of the nose. I think there'll be like a little bit of a shadow here that we are missing that might go down and kind of emphasize this. I mean a highlight. Do I, I always say shadow when I mean highlight and highlight when I mean shadow? Or maybe just shadow all the time. <laughs> Okay, and then highlight over here. He'll have like a little bridge. Guys usually have kind of a square shape there. He'll have a little bridge there. And then he'll have one going down here at the bulbous part. And he'll have a highlight over here on the nostril. Let's put in a shadow here. Let's make it a little more saturated. I think I've moved this over a little too much. And I don't want to sit here trying to fix it with my brush. So I'm going to cheat and go to liquify again. Okay, we're starting to get there. We've got to just refine the nose now. I think that looks a little bit more like his nose. I know I have this like really obnoxiously bright highlight. I was just trying to mix in. I'm going to shrink it a little bit. Just these little touches. It's hard to tell how to uh, do some of these adjustments sometimes, but some of it is just practice and then you get kind of used to it. Okay, so now I have all the shadow in the world over here and I kind of lost my shadow on this side of the nose. So I want to put that back in before I forget, which will help with the shape a bit. And then we will move on to the mouth. We're going to block that in. I'm going to put a little bit of a shadow area there. Uh, we're going to think about the highlights. We're going to have some over here where like, you know, the mouth sticks out the most there and then maybe a little bit there. I'm going to put this down here before I forget. You know, you have your cheek here as the flat area and I wanted this to be emphasized as the like cheekbone. Uh, and then this little 
little thing that I marked down here. I actually need to come out more. I was just trying to put it in. That's like a dent a, or dimple. So let's pick a color for his lips. And this is kind of treading on difficult territory because if you go like too red or something, then it looks like they're wearing lipstick. And if you go to blandy brown like I'm doing, <laughs> it looks like they have dead skin. I'm going to put in orangey color mostly want to get some lip shapes in I'm trying to refine this shadow while I'm at it it's gonna be darkest right under the lips and then it's gonna kind of go in this area and this little area over here will be mostly in shadow and this actually will match this the value value of the shadow match here and here I'm gonna really push these because right, right now he has too bright of a face I, I think I want uh, more contrast in it for the lips, we want to make sure we have a nice dark shadow under here like that. And then let's draw on his upper lip. You won't see like a whole lot. He doesn't have like super full lips or anything. Just the normal pinched lips like that. So they're blocked in and I think his mouth is a little too high up. So we're going to do our little trick. I'm going to put a little highlight all around the top lip so we can really see the shape. I've lost my center line a little bit, so I'm going to put that in as well. So then I'm just going to take some black for now and mark that shadow in. I think we've got the lips pretty well blocked in now. They look like lips. I want to move on to the eyes and get those blocked in and then we will do some detailing work. And then I will go in and probably just speed through the final, final like, you know, touch ups and blendings and stuff. But for now, let's mark in these eyes and we'll have like a little bit of light catch in there and a little bit catch in there. And uh, at the very, very corners of the eyes, when we actually go in and do them, there'll be like this area that you'll want like that and like, uh, you know that where they'll catch on the very corners let's just go ahead and blow it up and then we can do it <laughs> let's get a dark color and kind of reiterate this eye shape oddly it's going to kind of go down like this a bit here and then out and then this meets up so this goes this overhangs where this meets up and you can have some shadow in that area and this will come down a shape like that that looks pretty good and let's see if we can mimic it on this side Okay, and then we want the shadows here. So we'll have uh, some that go like there's a crease of the eye and I'm going to blend that in. I don't want it to be quite that dark, but in general, you'll see it there and over here. If you've ever worn makeup and you put eyeshadow in, you know that there's that crease. And then we're going to put a couple highlights. Remember the lights coming from this end. So I want to mark some highlights there and um, we'll have some like above here. I might have drawn the crease of that eye a little bit too high. So I'm just going to blob in some highlights there. Just a little bit of light catching here at the corner of the eye. So I'm I'm just going to mark those in and then I'm going to start putting in the shadows and we'll have the darkest part here and then a little bit over the eyelid and the darkest part here and a little bit over the eyelid and I'm going to need a darker color than that. Let's give him some white to the eyes. I'm just going to literally put some white in. I don't want it to look super bright white. I'm not going to go until it's like pure, pure white. I'm going to re, re put shadow over this in a second. If you make it super white, it looks really creepy. <laughs> so never go with white white for the white to eyes unless you're doing a highlight. So he has brown eyes. We're going to put them in like he's looking down, maybe down to the side. Okay, let's double check the placement of the eyes. Let's zoom out. There's a little thing here that I'm going to fix. So now those look like they match a little better and we might have to go in later with liquify and reshape them, but we're just marking them in. So I have this brown. I'm going to go even browner around like the very bottom corner here. And then down here, I'm going to put in a pupil like that and like this. I'm going to put some brown around the pupil, kind of like saturated brown. I didn't quite get that pupil dark enough, so I'm going to go over it a couple more times. Okay, and then I'm going to make some like little straggly lines. And we'll kind of get rid of some of these fuzzy in between colors. And this eye is crossing over in this territory a little bit. Let's take the liquify and move it over just a tiny bit. So that looks like they're matching now where they're viewing. So before you have a bit of a cross eye. Okay, and then we're going to go to color dodge. Make our opacity down a lot. Pick a brown color and zero hardness. A few like highlights that you'll be seeing here. I think I have, I need to pick a much brighter color than that for them to show like this. I'm not putting it down in a swoop. I'm kind of picking up my stylus and, and moving it around like that. And then we'll go to normal and bump our opacity up a little bit. And then I'm going to go in and put like a nice shadow down. This whole area will be in shadow. You can see this is all still very much in the um, unrefined stage. So if you have any problems and you want to fix them now <laughs> would be the time. I've fixed this eye. Now this one's going off a little bit to the side. So we're going to do a quick liquify. Now we're going to zoom out 
So let's just do one more quick thing of refining the shadows and the highlights and I uh, will show you how to detail the hair and then I'm going to just fast forward through the rest and you'll see the final. So let's start with the highlights actually. I'm going to go back to that color dodge and I'm going to go back to 6%. I'm going to pick a blue, kind of a cool blue, and I'm going to go through where I want some of these highlights to be. I think I need to pick a little bit brighter than that. So now I want some like highlights here on the nose. So let's mark those in. I wanted one there. I want one on the bridge of the nose here. I want some definitely over here on the side. We're going to have some over here. I haven't forgotten about his little LED light. I know that's going to go like right here. And I guess we can put in a few, preemptively put in some highlighted glow area there. Mark in the highlight here. We wanted to get that jaw. So we'll, we'll do it kind of in that shape. We'll want to reemphasize the shadow there in a minute. Let's get a little bit on the chin. So that's a little bit more highlighty. Now let's go to shadow and I'm actually going to go to overlay for the shadow. So overlay is right here. I'm going to pick this brown color. I'm not going to turn my brush up. I'm going to just go over now in some of these areas where I really want to push that this side is darker. You can use overlay or multiply. Overlay kind of, I don't, they both put down saturated colors. Overlay puts down, it's, it's a little bit different. You'll just have to play around. Um, you want to make sure you put some nice shadows here in the corner of the eyes because that's always a dark area. And then we can take black on overlay and we're still really small opacity. Where you really want the darkest of shadows, you can start placing them in a little bit. And this will make it so you don't just lose your drawing completely in black. Just be very conservative with the black. So I'm going to put some here and here. All right, so now I'm going to flip the canvas horizontally and see the mistakes. Let's go to liquify real quick, fix a few of them, do the hair, and then I will speed through the rest because I think we've got a pretty good shape here now. He looks a bit um, droopy face. Okay, let's see how that looks. And then let's flip it again. Kind of see the things when you flip it. So this is too far out. Drawing faces head on is very difficult sometimes to really match them up. His nose needs to move over slightly. Just these little adjustments are things you just gotta look at and keep your eyes out for. So I'm just gonna move the nose over a little bit. That looks a little more symmetrical, I think. One last little go with the, with the liquify tool to move this whole area in and match it up. Let's take a look. I think that's a little bit better. It looks a little more symmetrical. I mean, I know this isn't like dead on symmetrical, but we'll do the hair and I'll show you how to detail that. So for the hair, I'm going to go in. By the way, before I forget, when you are doing your final touches, you'll want to put some shadows under this hair. I still am on overlay, aren't I? And you'll want to put these shadows in. Um, otherwise the hair, when it reaches, if it's really bright right at the hairline, it'll look weird. <laughs> so you'll want to make sure you smudge in some shadows there. And one more thing. I know that I'm jumping around a bit. Um, when you go in to do your final uh, brush work, I would suggest using a texture brush and that just gives the skin a little bit more, more interest. So when you go in to smidge it in, it gets texturized and then it doesn't look so like over here, you can see it's just like blurry bit of color and it's not really that well defined. And then you go in like this and then you do your final touches and you've, you've left a little bit of texture. And I think that's a nice touch. Okay. Just my last little quick tip and you'll see me doing some texture brush work when I speed through. But for now, let's do the hair. We've kind of gone over how we're going to do it. I'm going to add some really dark areas here to really emphasize some with just plain black. And I'll probably go over it again with a non-black color so it's not just all of a sudden black. Emphasize where the where the shadows really will be. And they will be mostly down here because, you know, he's leaning, he's uh, looking down under this little swirly thing. And then you can go in with another color and break up that black so it's not just so jarring. We have some browns and we have some um, other things. So now if you want to do highlights, you'll want to go in with, I'm going to pick kind of a, a off blue gray <laughs> and then make this small. And then there's might be some highlights like over here and then over here and then up here and then maybe here. We'll blend those in. And then we want some like light brown highlights for his hair. And you just kind of go in, you add highlights and shadows and you can be kind of blocky about it. You want to make sure you get the strands. Basically I have to draw every individual strand in. I'm going to erase some of this back here. So I'll have the freedom to erase this a little bit here. You'll want the individual strands to show a little bit. 
you don't want to have to go in and literally draw in every individual one. So you'll just want to put a bunch down like that and you just keep making your brush size smaller as you go and maybe your color change it up a little bit so that the new strands will show up a little bit more. So you come in here and you put these brush strands in and it looks like just even more little tiny threads of hair coming out. When you want to blend them in you can make your brush bigger and go in and just where the ends are you just apply some pigment there like that blends them in and then you can pick up some colors too and blend it in. And then when you want to do a really nice highlight <laughs> you can come in with color dodge and pick your thing and then go there's not really a way to let's do it over here I guess where the light might be catching you go like that and like that and then he's got like a little bit of shiny area <laughs> that's just the quick rundown for the hair so I think we've got Connor pretty much blocked in here I think it looks like him so I'm just gonna go ahead and refine everything we have done here now I will speed through it and so you can see the final thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this let's paint if you have any suggestions for who you want me to do a let's paint of in the future let me know have a wonderful day take care and I will see you in the next video Thank you.